I was trying to record a video, but um, Topster's just apparently likes to plant his face in front of the lens. Um, am I allowed to? No, well, no. You, you just go sit here. I feel I've given you so much food tonight. You've had my burgers that I made, homemade burgers. You had some of that. You had the leftover sausages from last night. Don't lift your ears. You've already eaten them, and you've had everything really. I think you're taking the piss. <laughs> oh dear. Oh well. Um, well, this post is just to get abandoned. I won't even edit this out. I'll just leave this in. <laughs> it's a big fat nose. It's a butcher's nose. Oh dear. Right. Let's try this again. Hello, everybody. Hope you're well. Oh, we've been joined by Toby's nose for the first part of that video. Um, anywho, I thought I'd just do a little video update, um, though I did a lot of videos yesterday, I actually bashed out free, so that was good on various different bits. Um, but I just wanted to follow on what I was talking about, the turmeric stuff earlier. Um, it's one of many things I've read uh, more recently that's beneficial for people with fibromyalgia. Um, and a combination of that and the magnesium seems to be sort of reducing... Um, the actual flashing of uh, muscle spasms I was getting on, on when I'm out on walks. Um, I can't really think that it would be anything else because I'm trying to be quite consistent with what I'm trying. Um, things like obviously uh, I've been on amtripoline for a good amount of time now, a very long time. Um, and that certainly made differences because uh, after taking that I instantly stopped having or stopped wearing um, back patches on my lower back because I didn't feel they were necessary. Sure, I have days when it's the back is more noticeable and so on, but for the most part, I can get away with not needing to wear that. And that was pr the, the day after actually taking them. I just didn't feel the sensation in the lower back than I was before. Um, so that, that was certainly a big plus. Um, magnesium take too much of it and let uh sorry to be uh forward but uh you need to know for me personally anyway and i think most people in general if you take too much magnesium you will be going to the toilet more than you would like so that's something to bear in mind but um certainly magnesium is beneficial you look it up it's um it's one of the higher listed items of, of things that help with um, fibro symptoms so definitely recommend magnesium but yeah, turmeric, um, I've been taking for ooh, three, probably more like a, no, more easily a month now. Um, I was taking two a day for some reason. I thought it was only two that I needed to take with milk every day, but it's actually three that it says on there. I just guess I got confused at some point and thought it was two. Um, my mum's actually got them as well because she has problems with her knees and stuff. So um, I've got her some as well, so hopefully it'll help her with that. But yeah, from my own po um, point of view, magnesium uh, and turmeric certainly uh, a benefit. But yeah, I posted about the drink thing earlier, which is the, a new flavour as far as I'm aware. So just getting all those sort of things in. Magne um, I, what I will say about tablets is a lot of the stuff, and you, you've probably seen or read this before, is beneficial mostly in food. And that's true, the best way of getting any source of any vitamins or anything like that is food. However, the amounts of them sometimes can be woefully inadequate for especially people with fibro. So um, I would say do your research, try, trial and error as usual with this condition, what works best for you. Um, but yeah, magnesium, turmeric, certainly both of those in combination with the um, uh, antripoline. It works for me, so um, see, find out what works for you, and just continue as always. Um, I will do any further updates as I feel sort of necessary with what I'm trying and what works and what doesn't. Um, and obviously, the other one being that I've mentioned before is I cut out dairy, and that's certainly reduced the nausea by about 95%. So I really don't get the nauseous um, that I nauseous sides that I was getting, and they were horrific. Um, and as I said in one of my previous videos, um, some days I would even rule that as being far, far worse to deal with than the um, the fatigue. Because uh, when you're feeling sick and weak, it's a it's a fucking horrible combination. So um, yeah, 
but as I say, some people are fine with dairy. I see people posting things like, oh, well, again, have this chocolate, and they seem to be fine with that. But for me, that's a, a no-no chocolate. Um, unfortunately, it actually makes me sick now. Um, so it's, it's crazy, really, the dramatic changes this has to your digestive system and what it used to take in and be fine with and now, what it kicks off about. But, yeah, there you go. Anyway, hope you're having a good day, and I'll speak to you soon. Um, laters.